What you're looking at on screen right now is the Wave software on the left side just above me, but on the right side, you might recognize the coloring that's voice meter. And currently this is a brand new software that's not necessarily brand new, but this is included inside the free voice meter banana download and even more features if you use voice meter potato and pay for it. Let's talk about how voice meter probably just changed the game for budget streamers looking for an audio solution. And in my opinion, probably offers a little bit more customization. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? My name is Brandon and I'm here to improve the streaming experience, not only for you, but also for your viewers. And in today's video, we're doing that, talking about Voice Meter's new streamer view. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna say that this video is sponsored, but it's sponsored by me over at darkendcyrus.com. I've just released the OBS Masterclass, the two hour full course that you can go ahead and go through every single setting and understand how it impacts, what you need to do to set up and everything Thing that's going to shift your position and get you the upper hand when using OBS. I have more tutorials coming out for Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, Voice Meter, and even a bunch of other platforms and how to get started as a creator on YouTube doing long form content. So make sure you check out my website and continue to go back. Oh, and to make it nice, OBS 25 coupon code will get you 25% off that first course. So you should go check it out. OBS 25 darkandcyrus.com. So now that I've done a sponsor segment for myself, let me show you how this works. So first of all, if you don't know what voice meter is, it is a full program that does all of the virtual routing of your system. Sounds very similar to the wave software, the beacon software, the go XLR software, all of that stuff, except it's free to download for voice meter banana. It's got a paid version called voice meter potato, which we'll look at later. But I do want to say, make sure you check the link in the description or the card up above. I've already done a full setup tutorial that is probably the best on YouTube. You should go check it out if you want to know how to set this up. But there are some new things they've added to Voice Meter since that video that I'm going to show you today. So when you first open Voice Meter, you're probably not going to see this streamer view. You're probably just going to have Voice Meter like this. What you need to do is under menu, you can choose run streamer view on Voice Meter start and it will actually automatically load. If that doesn't load for some reason in your x86 program files where this installed. There's a folder for VB, then there's voice meter. And inside this folder, you will see a streamer view, which you can actually launch. You could even make this a shortcut on your desktop, but you do have to have voice meter open for it to work. So once it's loaded and up, we need to actually be able to set up so we can actually see all of our easy adjustments over here. The way to get voice meter to show up in streamer view is actually really simple. You need to actually give a name to each channel and that I will put it over and so that you can mess with it in stream review. So the first one I'm going to call Mike and you can see that that will pop up and you can see I've got my A1 output bus. If you watch the video, you'll learn that the A1 is typically your headset. It's your main output source, your physical output source. So it's headset or speakers or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give each of these something. I'll do number two as chat and maybe this one as capture card. And what you'll see is I'm actually able to control the volume of this channel in this easy to understand view rather than staring at voice meter. I can easily adjust my volumes with this. I can still double click to reset them at zero, etc. I can also get all of my virtual outs down here. So if what you don't know is uh, in the Wave software and the Beacon software, they have an audio track that's basically the, uh, the streaming track. You send all of your audio to that one and you have one microphone input for OBS to make it kind of easy so you don't have to add a thousand different audio sources. You can just kind of add them all inside the software do the one to OBS. Well, you can do that inside voice meter. And the way to do that is for this virtual output right here. So I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to call it stream. And so what you'll see is it'll pop up here. This will be B1 inside voice meter and on your computer. It's called voice meter input, voice meter VIO input. So make sure you check that out. So everything that I click B1 on this actual fader over here, and you can see it's also showing up over here. Now that's going to be going to my stream, which is the what I'm going to add as a microphone input into OBS. And then I can adjust just that volume. You can name any of these faders. Essentially, all you do is right click the fader, which is this green area. You can give it a name. 
So I can my name it test and now you'll see A3 pops up, etc. So all of these things will pop up for you to be able to use. Now what you should know is that voice meter banana has some limitations because it's the free one. You don't get individual control of every single channel going between like A1, A3, and B1 in this case. But in voice meter potato, you can actually unlink them and have different levels for each one, which is really cool. And so that's pretty much it for voice meter banana setup. It's basically where you can have this simple to use interface. You set up voice meter banana one time, and then you can just open stream review and then be able to use that when you're actually streaming. Now let me show you potato. So this one's a voice meter potato. This is the paid one. You can use it uh, up to 12 hours and then it makes you recycle and then go back into it. But if you don't want to mess with the ad that pops up, you just pay 10 bucks, I think it is. You get a whole bunch more, five hardware inputs, three virtual ins, five hardware outs, and three virtual outs. It's absolutely nuts. And without this, I wasn't able to do my stream when I was doing it. So I love voice meter potato. But they've added something cool, and I want to show you a couple things new before we talk about the actual stream review. For compressor and gate inside of Voice Meter Potato, if you right-click them, you now have full control. Ratio, threshold, attack, release, the knee, the gain. If you want the makeup gain, you're able to control all of that. Even the gate, talking about what's the side chain that's going to be impacted, the attack, hold, and release. Everything is here now. And not only that, they've also added a denoiser, very similar to like RTX voice or the OBS denoise piece. There's that built in to each individual input like independently, which is cool. Something else that's new is if you wanted to do EQ before, you had to make the EQ adjustment on the actual physical or virtual outs, like the microphones that go actually go out or the headsets that go out, right? That would be these where you can actually right click EQ and adjust it down here. Now which is amazing. Every hardware in has an equalizer now. So for like, well, I have my mic right here. I can actually pre EQ my microphone before it goes into any of my virtual outs, like the stream channel that I would create. I could be able to adjust my mic EQ without adjusting every other EQ, which was the problem before. If you look at stream review, I went ahead and named almost every source. Some of these, these say test, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the difference between potato and banana here. So you have slider mode here at the top. What you can see right now is I'm able to individually adjust these up and down, right? But then there's uh, ABS link. So if I grab it and pull it, that's what it was in voice meter banana where they're all linked. So every single fader, every single output for this in number two going to every single area. Yeah, they're all linked. But then you have, let me go back and put no link and make some adjustments here. The last one is relative link, where if I click this, they all move in re like relation to each other. This is really good for like a music where you want your headset to be soft, but chat to be louder, but you want to boost it. Really cool option here. And I think it's fantastic how this works. And even if you top it out like you did here, when you pull them back down, it remembers that memory. Uh, Wave XLR doesn't do this. And I wish it did. Once you max it out and you bring it down, they're matched, which is ridiculous. That'll bring us to the end of this video. Comment down below. What do you think? of stream review. Was it a little too much? Was it a little crazy? I think that this is probably one of the best solutions that I've seen for audio that's free. So go click that video up there and uh, OBS 25, go, go, go check out my course. Yeah, that'd be great. Appreciate you. Bye guys.